On Friday night, the Sydney Swans faced off against Carlton and after scoring a goal, 2014 Australian of the Year Adam Goods celebrated with an Indigenous-inspired war dance. And it is a goddamn outrage. It really isn't. Well, that's the end of the story then. You've got to shoot at least two minutes, Jan. But there's nothing to say! Do your job. Yes, Twitter has blown up with AFL fans calling the dance terrifying, hateful and disgraceful. Which, incidentally, is a really good way of describing the reaction. And racist. Racist works too. It was all about being, um, representing our people and our passion. Um, and dance is a big way we do that. To give you a bit of backstory, the game was part of this year's Indigenous round, making it the perfect time for Goods to celebrate his heritage. Also, the dance was actually taught to him by an under-16s Indigenous development team who created the dance from a variety of different tribes. I just think of those kids watching last night and they saw that, how proud they, they would be. But not only was his explanation not good enough for the unwashed masses, but even a few well-respected and informed media personalities were against it as well. I'm kidding. No, I'm just, nobody respects Eddie Maguire. Millionaire hot seat host called the war dance aggressive and violent, while Bolt said rather a lot. Miming throwing a spear, a very aggressive action. It's me saying to you, <laughs> one player fined, I think it was, for miming the shooting of a gun. Guns are still used as murder weapons. Spears are very rarely used as murder weapons. I'm also well, not, you've not been to the Northern I'm, Territory I'm also, lately. I'm sorry, did he just imply that Indigenous Australians living in the Northern Territory are murdering people with spears? Spears are very rarely used as murder weapons. I'm also well, not... you've not been to the Northern I'm, Territory I'm also... lately? Yep, seems that way. Or he could be talking about a secret club where he hunts men in the Northern Territory with a spear. Wouldn't put it past him. Either way, though, we should probably be more outraged about that than a dance at a football game. The All Blacks have the hucker. Former Swans player Ty Kennelly had an Irish jig and our Indigenous players should be able to be proud of their heritage like everyone else. There's nothing offensive about a dance.